The funding for this video is provided by the amazing members of our Patreon. Also contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. Yeah, I started from PBS Kids. What you gonna do? Fight me? Anyway, wrong video. And they decided that, okay, if we want Cosmo Wong to stay in the picture, not only do we need to make Vicky more horrible, we also have to make Mr. and Mrs. Turner bad too, just as well. And, oh. It's Hariana and I'm back with another video. Hi, hello, how are you doing? My name is Hariana. Welcome to and welcome back to The Pirate Ship, also known as Harry Hooks Pirate Ship. I am the captain. You are not my first date. I don't got no first mate. Because you want to know why? Bring your ear closer to the speaker so you can hear me clearly. Nobody's worthy of being the first mate. But hi, hello, how are you doing? My name is Hariana and I like to make content based on nostalgia and family and children's entertainment and all the issues that we find within those spaces. Now, today's setup is different. We're going to be doing a makeup video mind y'all i am not the most experienced with makeup i'm still learning how to do my makeup but i used to get on camera and do my makeup as i just talked about whatever came to my mind and today um i'm getting ready to film another video after this but i told myself to kill two birds with one stone and film myself getting ready i feel like because i'm standing i've been having like a hard time staying awake lately but we're gonna stand to get this did but today we are going to be talking about the barely odd parents and the main question that i have it's most likely the title of this video is are mr and mrs turner like bad parents and for the record yes we know that they're bad parents but i felt like up until a certain point of the show they weren't necessarily terrible parents and i want to get a little bit more into why I think that but also it's just kind of like me expressing my frustrations with the original Fairly Odd Parents. One reason I've really been thinking about the Fairly Odd Parents a lot more lately is because it has a new reboot where Cosmo and Wanda have a new godchild. But anyway, they have a new godchild and people were saying that the reboot is actually really good. But it just makes me sit back and think about like so much of what went wrong with the original show and how flanderization kind of ruined it overall so let's go ahead and get started so we're going to just moisturize our face because somebody was like harry can you do a makeup tutorial and i'm like y'all i'm not the best experience with makeup but anyway really our parents if you're watching this video i'm pretty sure you're familiar with what it is but if you don't it is a nick tune that started in the early 2000s originally it was a part of oh yeah cartoons i pretty sure and that was like a short block where they would just have individual little cartoons here and there um but it started as oh yeah cartoons and basically it just followed the adventures of timmy turner who is like a fifth grader and he is gifted to godparents cosmo and wanda i remember when i had um made my videos in the past about fairly odd parents a lot of people were saying that they felt as though chester should have had oh my god a lot of people were saying that they felt as though Chester should have had Fairly Odd Parents and not Timmy. And okay, I feel like a lot of people misunderstand why Timmy ended up getting fairies and not Chester. Timmy ended up getting fairies because his parents were neglecting him. The main reason Timmy ended up getting fairies is because his parents weren't around all that much anymore. And he had a very, very terrible babysitter named Vicky. Remember that. We're going to be talking a lot more about Vicky later because that's where so many of my issues with the Fairly Odd Parents started to stem at a certain point. It got to the point where it just became like genuinely disturbing all that the show had Vicky doing just to keep the plot going. People were like, why doesn't Chester have fairies? Because Chester is poor. And I was like, yeah, while Chester is poor, his dad was around like all the time. Like Chester had a pretty... I wouldn't really say Chester had a good home life because they didn't have no money, but his dad loved him and like cared for him. Like he was very much like in the picture all the time. Like same with AJ's parents, he, they were always there. The purpose of Fairly Odd Parents is more so for um, 
the children whose parents aren't really there all that much like even though Remy was rich the reason he had fairies is because his parents weren't around like they're the fairies are supposed to be a parental figure for them so I feel like a lot of people kind of like misunderstand that that's the reason why Chester didn't have fairies but okay I feel like I need to put a little bit more foundation on but in the earlier seasons of the Fairly Odd Parents and a lot of people were saying like the earlier seasons are the only ones that are like worth watching because it's not even just the issues with Timmy's parents that got worse. It's just the storytelling just got a little like funky after that. Cause you know, they ended up bringing so many new characters in yada, yada, yada. But I'd say like the day the Fairly Odd Parents died, and when I say died, I mean like when it should have ended, was the Channel Chasers movie. Because in that movie, that is when we ended up finding out more about Timmy and how he ended up getting fairies and yada, yada, yada. And in the earlier seasons of the show Mr. and Mrs. Turner while they were like naive you can still tell that they actually did love their son like they still did love and care for their son they were there they tried their best to like be there for him but then also they wanted to you know go and live their life because they were still like a married couple and they didn't want to feel as though like them having a kid took away from them like spending time with one another. That's the main reason why they ended up hiring Vicky in the first place is because they wanted to spend more time with one another because they were just spending so much time with Timmy and they weren't having like, you know, a lone couple time. So I get that. A lot of parents do struggle with that like always having to spend time with their kid now that they have a child and they kind of miss the days of what it was like before they had you know a little one running around that is why they hired vicky and vicky ended up putting on this facade that she was like a good person but she mainly did it more so for the money by the way i'm still learning if my foundation shade look a mess that's why my bad i'm trying my best but anyway vicky is just a character that i just get too irritated with now because I just don't find her funny because of a lot of things that she was doing. And that's just a lot of my issues with a lot of the original Fairly Odd Parents. It's just, the show can just be too mean-spirited for me at times to the point where it's just disturbing. Basically, Vicky would come to the house when it was time for her to babysit Timmy. She literally just be torturing him the entire fucking time. So that is the reason why Timmy really ended up getting like fairies in the first place. If Vicky was actually like a good babysitter, Kyle and Mama probably would not have been there. But it it is revealed to us that Vicky is the reason why Cosmo and Wanda are in the picture. And honestly, Cosmo and Wanda were really needed because Vicky constantly put Timmy in very dangerous situations. Because I remember one time she was playing with fire, like literal fire with him. Like it's actually like disturbing the type of stuff that she would be doing to him. Because not only was Vicky doing this to Timmy, she was also doing it to her little sister. Vicky needed to go. Like Vicky's not even a person, she's a caricature. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be using a uh, Lizzie McGuire palette next. We're going to be doing Cosmo and Wanda eyeshadow. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I gotta put like a base on because these are both very like pigmented colors and I want my colors to stand out real well. So moving forward, I'm trying my best to like multitask and talk to y'all at the same time. Like learn more so about the background, like why Timmy had fairies, yada, yada, yada. And this is where I realized that the show really should have ended because it kind of concluded the story. And it was like, okay, it can end here. We're done with this. We can move on to somebody else. Cosmo and Wanda can go have a new God kid. I think that would have been a better route for the show. They just gave Cosmo and Wanda a new God kid. And we see that's actually what fixed the series. 
because them keeping Timmy and this, it, it just was not right. It is revealed later on that um, the parents, Mr. and Mrs. Turner, they did end up finding out about all the horrible things Vicky was doing to Timmy. It's revealed, and then when they found that information out, they basically were like, okay, we're firing you, and yeah, we need to stop, like, you know, listening to other people. We need to start spending more time with our son again. This and then the third. And like I said, Mr. All the adults in the family y'all parents are idiots, first of all. So that's like one thing that we all need to get out. The only character in the series I'd say that is not an idiot would have to be Wanda and a lot of the other like women fairies. Like a lot of the other characters in the show, they're just straight up stupid. The human characters are all idiotic except for like AJ. Okay, that this show I mean, they look, it's literally set in a place called Dimsdale, so it makes sense why a lot of the people are just not bright. But the only people with some sense in the show usually are the female fairies, and Wanda is kind of like the voice of reason for it. So I don't really expect too much from Mrs. Turner thinking about the nature of the situation, but she still did love Timmy a lot. And they were actually hurt in the straw when they found out about what Vicky was doing. Like, it actually was like pretty, pretty heartfelt because they were like, oh my gosh, we had no idea that this was going on. And mind you, when they found this information out, they decided to get rid of her. But guess what? You know how Timmy is. Timmy, let's be honest. Cosmo and Wanda is like the best thing that ever happened to Timmy in his life. And then we also see that even when Cosmo and Wanda were no longer in Timmy's life, he was fine. Like there was like no problems. He was actually doing pretty well. He There were moments where he did miss Cosmo and Wanda or he has like some remnants of them because I'm pretty sure after you no longer get fairies, they, you know, remove the memory that you have with them. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've seen it. But it's very much like clear that like, yeah, Timmy was okay once Vicky was out the picture. And that mainly showed that Cosmo and Wanda served their purpose. Okay, we helped him during this terrible time in his life but now things are better and now it's time for us to move on and go help another kid in need. Timmy decides that he wants to keep like Vicky because he realizes that if he no longer like you know had Vicky he couldn't have Cosmo and Wanda because guess what his parents actually did love him. This wasn't a situation with Remy Remy the rich kid that had fairies this wasn't a situation with Remy because Remy's parents actually were like pretty much neglectful with Mr. and Mrs. Turner it was pretty clear that like they just were pretty much naive about what was going on with Timmy but they still cared about him Remy's parents didn't give a flying fuck so that's the reason why it makes more sense as to why Remy would still have had his parents but not like you know Timmy after that situation. Okay so we're gonna have to use the same brush again but I don't feel like like wiping it so we're gonna get a makeup wipe and wipe it off real quick. I'm telling y'all do not be taking makeup tips from me. I'm not the best when it comes to this shit. We're gonna go in with the green for Cosmo. I really get irritated with the fairly y'all parents because if you're not familiar with the term flanderization, it's where they take one thing about a character and they like go overboard with it. And we see this done with like so many different like animated series. The term came from The Simpsons if you're um, not familiar with it because there is a character named Ned Flanders and they flanderize the fuck out of him. But yeah, it's just where they take traits about a character and then they just put them like on 10. I'd say like Cat Valentine from Victorious is like a prime example of this that a lot of people are familiar with in a more live action setting. Because in the beginning, Cat was more so like, she was like just naive, but she still had like some type of like, I don't want to sit here and call Cat stupid in the later end, but she felt like more human. She was just a girl that was a bit naive. But as the show went on, she felt more like a caricature of herself. Like they just took her naivete and they put it up on a 10 and they ended up making her a bit kind of like, like the characters in the Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> That's what's so irritating with Timmy's parents. They ended up taking the factor of them just being a bit kind of neglectful and not really like in the know of what was going on with Timmy and they put it on 10 to the point where it made it seem as though they were just straight up terrible parents. 
like they were just being like very very like cruel to timmy like it would get to the point where they would say things such as hi timmy we don't want to be here anymore so here's vicky goodbye they were just finding excuses not to be around him and it just got harder and harder to watch i'd say the fairly odd parents is one of them shows that i just have a difficult time watching because the way it just portrays certain harmful issues just disturbs me we're gonna go in with the green sparkles and put that on top and then we're gonna go in with the pink sparkles and put them on top i feel like a lot of the reasons why the fairly odd parents ended up making like mr and mr turner oh this is messy <laughs> Oh girl. The reason they ended up making Mr. and Mrs. Turner just like caricatures of themselves is because they kept having to find new ways to get the show going. Like when it was supposed to end, like when it actually felt like it had a decent ending, it's like, okay, the problem was fixed. The problem was Vicky. Cosmo and Wanda can move on and have somebody else now, like help somebody else. But it just got to the point where it's just like, okay, what can we do with this show? so where Cosmo and Wanda can stay in the picture and they decided that okay if we want Cosmo and Wanda to stay in the picture not only do we need to make Vicky more horrible we also have to make Mr. and Mrs. Turner bad too just as well and oh why oh I am just messing this shit up it is not looking right you know what we're gonna blend that out it's not looking good you know what? we're gonna put an eyeliner on later I'm sorry if people are like trying to follow this as like a makeup tutorial. I ain't doing that good of a job right now. Like I said, don't be coming to me for makeup tips, y'all. Do, don't. I see it's literally glitter everywhere right now. That's why I'm just like, y'all, y'all really wanted a makeup tutorial for me. The Fairly Odd Parents is one of those series, like the original run. I'm actually thankful that it has it's having a bit of a renaissance at the moment and it's actually getting like a reboot that it needed because it was just like running off of fumes at this point like the original purpose of the show was served and in order to keep it going because like i said the first arc was done vicky was the problem they tried to get rid of her but timmy was like no let me keep her so i can keep cosmo and wanda yada 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 they kept having to find new things to keep the series going and it ended up just ruining everything overall but like one thing about it that just frustrated me the most is like what they ended up doing to the parents because i was just like i don't necessarily think miss nervous is Turner were all that terrible. Mind you, like I said, the nature of the series is everyone in the show is an idiot. We get that. It's like watching The Simpsons to a certain extent because a lot of people in that show are idiots too just as well. <laughs> That's just one thing I kind of can't stand about a lot of like animation. They like to make everyone within the world kind of like not smart. And this doesn't just like a like family entertainment problem. This is a problem with adult animation too just as well. Like it's actually kind of annoying. And this is also a problem I've had with like a lot of just Dan Snyder productions in general where they just make everyone. No, this is just a problem I've had with a lot of Nickelodeon productions in general where they just feel the need to make everyone so unsmart in order to keep the story going. And it's just like, can we not do that? Can we not? Dang, I thought I was gonna be done by the time um this was gonna be finished. Like, I really thought I was gonna be finished. We're not, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I can go ahead and get my next video started, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. I didn't want this video to be super long. That was just some thoughts that I just wanted to get out about the Fairly Odd Parents because it was just something that just had been bothering me for a hot minute. It is just something that's been bothering me for a hot minute and I just wanted to get that off my chest. But thank y'all so much for watching. We're gonna try to fix this makeup look in the next video that I'm making. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. Have a good day, night, whatever time of the day you chose to watch this video. I'm just thankful for that you watch it with the ads on. All right, thank you. Goodbye.